Lord, thank you for this wonderful month, Lord. Thank you for all your blessings and joy and the happiness that you filled in our life. And thank you for wonderful you, the love, the concern and the protection, Lord. And Lord, you have given this 2019. With your help, we can be able to finish this year with the blessing of you. And we give all the glory, honor and praise to you. Hallelujah. And this wonderful time also. Lord, we remember our families, our friends and relatives. And we bless them. And bless this wonderful time that we are going to spend in your presence, Lord. Accept our praise and worship. Holy Spirit of God, join with us, Lord. And speak to us in this day when we see the word of God, Lord. Lead us and guide us and stay with us in this time. And move in this atmosphere. And fill us mightily and move with us, Lord. Father God, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Holy Spirit of God, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, oh, my soul. Oh, oh, my soul. Worship this holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. Worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me. be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, worship your holy Spirit, the triune God, we worship you as Lord, we come in your presence. We pray that your consolation shall run upon the whole community of the children of God who are in India, Lord. We pray that uh, all the people who are worried about the separation of Pastor John Solomon and Lord, we know that he is in your feet. He is with you, happily worshipping you with all the saints of God. We pray and bless Sister Shanti Solomon and the family, Lord. We pray that they should be able to face this and they should be able to take this as a greatest challenge and to do your ministry till you come in the clouds of glory, Lord. We give in your hands all the close bear associates who are working in Miracle Ministry and Jebam. Lord, we pray that all the people who are working there should be blessed and they should be able to be consoled with the Holy Spirit, Lord. 
let the power of anointing fall upon them as we pray and let there be a spirit of consolation upon them lord right now we remember all the dear ones who are joining here to pray with us lord we commit them into your hands and we pray that you will meet all their needs and heal all their sicknesses lord and we pray that you will answer all their prayers master and we pray that you will bring heaven's glory upon their lives oh lord and we pray that your holy spirit will guide them and help them to be under your wings all the time father and lord we give ourselves into your mighty hands lord we specially submit me and cyril all the people who are listening to us right now and we pray that you will you will help them to trust you in every situation and to uh, go forth with the challenging uh, with your hands in their life and with a faith lord let them increase their trust in you and to show you how much they trust them lord Amen. we thank you lord for hearing our prayers let your will be done let the holy spirit keep con complete control of us in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen, amen. and amen. amen hallelujah thank you jesus your time is in god's hands uh, it's a lovely topic that we are going to see today your time is in god's hands the meaning is like the day we come into this world and the day we are going into the next world the eternity the timing from this day to this day and in this day you are going to be a child this day you are going to be a adult it's this day you are going to be a old person and this day you are going to be called everything is in god's hands psalm 31 14 to 15 says i trust in you lord i say you are my god my times are in your hands psalm 31 14 to 15 this is the word we are going to take it for meditation today the opposite of fear is faith when you fill your life with faith fear goes out the back door when things don't happen on your timetable the more you trust god the less afraid you will be so you will be never afraid if you are going to have faith in the lord that is what is this topic is telling us mark 5:36 jesus says don't be afraid just trust me so this is such a big message in the bible that the phrase fear not is appearing for 365 times so the lord is telling us fear not for every day so one thing that is always around in our life is fear fear of this fear of that fear of my future fear of my children's future fear of something like this all of us always work. so god want us to get the message that we don't have to be afraid because we can trust in his timings so in uh, ecclesiastes 3:11 also it is written in his time god will make everything beautiful so i think we have to trust that god who can make everything beautiful for us uh, so the timing of god trusting god in the number one stress reliever in your life so if you trust the lord you will not fear and if you Uh, you will not get the stress why we become uncontrolled anger why we become uh, you know uh, um, triggered by something because we don't have the trust in god the uh, the person inside is jumping out just because of the stress that we have an important truth to remember at christmas time is the more you trust god the more your stress is going to decrease another way to relieve your stress and demonstrate your trust in god is when you ask for something in prayer so when you pray and leave that into god's hands our stress level will go down how much ever is the pressure you are feeling in your life if you just trust god you will be able to keep your fear out of the boundary when you do don't try to set a time limit on deadlines and god's answers leave the timing up to god in your life anything you are praying your prayer points give the points to the lord but give the time to god 
Let God decide everything in his beautiful time. Psalm 31, 14 to 15, as I was just reading in the beginning, to help your faith grow deeper, you need to pray a prayer like Psalm 31, 14, 15. What do you have to say? I just trust you, Lord. I just say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Just memorize this word. My time is in your hand, Lord. That is very, very important. Why not memorize that scripture when you get up every morning? Read Psalm 31 as a prayer and tell God, I trust you. Lord, you're my God. My times are in your hands. Practically, that means you probably have more to do today than you got time to get done. So you ask God to help you sort it all out so that you can do what matters most and not worry about the rest. All of us don't know how much to be done for this day. So what you do is tell God in the morning itself, God, my times are in your hands. So you will not rush. You will not be in a hurry to finish something because you know the time is being controlled by your God who is your creator, who brought you into this world in a particular time and who knows that you will be there available till what time in this world. Hallelujah. You say to him, I surrender my schedule. See, we make a schedule and we run to the schedule. Why don't you leave the schedule to God and say, I surrender my calendar to you, Lord. I surrender my agenda to you. My times are in your hand. And that means I am not going to fear. I am going to trust you. So better trust the Lord. And so the action we are going to do is, what is one practical thing you can do that would help you memorize Psalm 31, 14 to 15? Kindly write it down and stick it on your mirror or inside the bathroom or wherever you are spending more time. Keep memorizing this scripture and anything you are praying for, tell the Lord, Lord, my time is in your hand. Think of one of the most stressful times of your life. During that time, were you reading God's word regularly? Did you trust God to provide for you in his perfect timings? How can you set yourself up? Well, so that when you become fearful or start to worry, you can easily remember God's word and better cope with the stress. <coughs> so this word, the time is in your hand, will make you to trust God and you will be able to trust him in all your time of need. And you will be able to say, Lord, I give my life to you, my timings to you. And this is the way we have to go forth in our life. So I request Pastor Cyril to close this with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father God, once again we are coming into your presence, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you that you are accepting our praise and worship. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the word that you've given to us in this day, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for the Holy Spirit and thank you for your presence. Thank you, Lord. And thank you for your anointing, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, in this wonderful time in your presence, we're remembering our families and friends and relatives. Yes. And wherever they are in the world, Lord, yes, we Father. bless them in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. We bless them, Jesus. Lord, good health, good life. The dear Holy Spirit of God, be with them and guide them. Let them live for your glory, God. Hallelujah. And the same way, Lord. We give ourselves in your hand, Lord, me and Kirvan, your hand. Well, praise to you. You are the worthy of all the praise and glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Till we all meet again. We, we cover, cover ourselves, ourselves under the pressure bed of Jesus. Jesus. Protect, Protect us from, from all the evil attack of the devil. devil. We cover, cover our mind, body, body soul, soul, and spirit under the pressure bed of Jesus. Under the pressure bed of Jesus, we are under the pressure bed of Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit, come with us, lead us, guide us, protect us. Help us to do your perfect will, Lord. In, In Jesus', Jesus mighty, mighty name we pray. We pray. Amen. 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 May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest upon each and every one of you who are listening till the Lord comes in the clouds of glory. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless you all. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>